Hi, today let us see SCR of fluoroquinolones. What is the general structure of fluoroquinolones? Even they are called as fluoroquinolones, they are having a basic nucleus like this. And we can start the numbering from the nitrogen. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now this ring is nothing but the quinoline ring system. And why they are called as fluoroquinolones? This quinoline ring system is having a fluorine group at the 6th position. So they are commonly called as fluoroquinolones. But before the fluoroquinolones are going to be developed, this quinoline ring is going to be modified to produce so many types of compounds. But all these compounds are not fruitful today and available in the market. So this quinoline ring can be modified in several ways, particularly the nitrogen can replace the carbon at the positions like the second position, fifth position, sixth position as well as the eighth position. So now by substituting the carbon at the second position, we can observe one of the ring system like this. This is nothing but the synoline ring system. And we can also observe few of the compounds where the carbon at the fifth place is going to be replaced by the nitrogen. So this is the 1,5 naphthyridine ring system. Similarly, carbon can be replaced at the sixth position to give 1,6 naphthyridine ring system. And finally, we can also observe the replacement at the eighth position so we can have 1,8 naphthyridine ring system. Even we have so many compounds that are going to be developed based on the structural activity relationships, but still many of the compounds are not available in the market. What may be the reason? One of the reason is that few of the compounds are not having a better activity and few of the compounds, even they are having better activity, but still they produce a lot of important toxic reactions like the nephrotoxicity and uh, cardiotoxicity. Because of such toxic reactions, only few drugs are nowadays available in the market. So in this video, we will see what are the important structural activity relationships, which gives the different types of fluoroquinolones, which are proved useful and available in the market. So among the four ring systems shown here, we have few of the drugs related to the synoline ring system, as well as few of the drugs related to one eight naphthyridine ring system. So we can find the first example for the synoline ring system. Here the second carbon is going to be replaced by the nitrogen. So the ring system is the synoline ring system. This synoline ring containing drug is nothing but the synoxacin. Because of replacement of carbon with the nitrogen at the second position, the quinoline ring is now converted into synoline ring. And this synoline ring is going to increase the pharmacokinetic activity of this drug. Even the pharmacokinetic properties are going to be increased still this drug is less active compared with the their quinoline analogs so synoxacin is available in the market for few years but later it is uh, discontinued because of the less activity next example is for the 1,8 naphthyridine ring system you can observe that the eighth position the carbon is replaced with the nitrogen so this 1,8 naphthyridine ring system is present in the two drugs one of this drug is the nalidixic acid Nalidixic acid is the first generation fluoroquinolone. Even it is not really a fluoroquinolone, but it is a first generation fluoroquinolone that is going to be developed in this category. Similarly, another example having the 1,8 naphthyridine ring system is the enoxacin. Enoxacin is a second generation fluoroquinolone which is having the further extended spectrum of activity towards the gram negative bacteria. But in the nalidixic acid, where the carbon is replaced by the nitrogen at the 8th position, it results in the increased protein binding. So nalidixic acid is highly protein bound, which reduces its activity as well as it may precipitate the few of the drug interactions. So in this way, the quinoline ring system can be modified to produce either synoline or 1,8 naphthyridine ring systems. But these modifications are not that much fruitful as with the quinoline ring system. So nowadays, what are the drugs available in the market? All the drugs are having mainly quinoline ring system. So now let us go with the structural activity relationships of the quinoline drugs. And let us see what happens by the groups at the different positions. So let us start with the first position so where is the first position so this is the first position where then we have to start the numbering from the nitrogen at the first position we can observe a alkyl group is going to be attached what is the nature of this alkyl group 
alkyl group is essential for activity at the first position so without alkyl group the activity is going to be reduced and which type of alkyl group should be present at the first position so small alkyl groups increase the potency of the drug so small alkyl groups like the ch3 c2h5 and cyclopropyl may increase the activity but among them cyclopropyl substitution is having more activity compared to the ethyl which is having the more activity than the methyl so at the first position small alkyl groups are essential and if the alkyl group is a cyclopropyl group it further increases the activity so we can find one of the important example here in this example we can observe at the first position ethyl group is present this is the norfloxacin norfloxacin is the second generation fluoroquinolone and we can also observe another example here this structure is having the cyclopropyl group at the first position so this is nothing but the ciprofloxacin so ciprofloxacin is having the more activity as well as more potency than the norfloxacin because it is having the cyclopropyl group at the first position and now let us observe this structure already we have seen that at the first position small alkyl groups are required for the activity but this is the structure of uh, tosofloxacin in this structure we can observe a phenyl ring attached at the first position with two fluorine groups at the second and fourth position so what are the group at the first position of the quinoline ring is the 2,4 difluorophenyl ring system what happens with the substitution of this phenyl ring system along with the fluorines the substitution of phenyl ring produce optimal potency but still this drug is not available in the market because of the other limitations either alkyl groups or phenyl groups may be present but nowadays what are the drugs we are having all the drugs are having small alkyl groups and among these alkyl groups if the alkyl group is the cyclopropyl group it is having the more potency and more activity now let us go with the second position where is the second position so this is the second position and at the second position if any group is going to be substituted it decreases the activity here at the second position the carbon can be replaced with the nitrogen but at this position any group if it is attached it reduces the activity so substitution at the second position reduces the activity and here we can also observe a double bond between the second and third position so saturation of the double bond at the second and third position results in the loss of activity so always a double bond should be there between the second and third position now let us see the scr of the third and fourth positions so at the third position a carboxylic acid is essential for activity in all of the fluoroquinolones we will see a carboxylic acid at the third position so a carboxylic acid cooh is essential for activity at the third position what happens if this group is going to be replaced with the any other acidic groups if suppose this carboxylic acid group is replaced with the other groups like the acetic acid or sulfonic acid or phosphoric acid all these substitutions will decrease the activity so whatever the best group that is suitable at the third position is the carboxylic acid in few of the structures we can also find the bio isosteric groups with the carboxylic acid like the isothiazole ring systems which also hang the similar activity like the carboxylic acid but again what are the drugs available in the market all of these drugs are having a carboxylic acid moiety at the third position now we have seen that the third portion carboxylic acid should be there and fourth portion a ketone group is already present in the general structure so what is the effect of the groups at the third and fourth portion these two groups are responsible for the binding of the drug to the dna gyrase dna gyrase is also called as topo isomerase 2 the fluoroquinolones are going to inhibit the dna gyrase enzyme thereby they inhibit the dna replication so the mechanism of fluoroquinolones mainly depends on the activity on the dna gyrase in order to bind to the dna gyrase the third portion carboxylic acid and fourth portion ketone group are essential for activity and because of the carboxylic acid the third portion and ketone group at the fourth portion the planarity is going to be maintained between these two groups so we can conclude that the planarity between these groups is essential for binding to the dna gyrase enzyme and again the groups at the third and fourth position are also responsible for the chelation with the divalent and trivalent cations so most of the fluoroquinolones can form a chelation with the metals like the magnesium calcium zinc and iron so they form some insoluble complexes 
these insoluble complexes will reduce the absorption of these drags thereby their bioavailability is going to be reduced that's why whenever the fluoroquinolones are given with some of the antacids some milk preparations or iron and zinc preparations the absorption is going to be reduced now let us go with the fifth position here at the fifth position if we substitute with the small groups like the nh2 oh and ch3 it may increase the activity but still we have no product in the market which is having a group like nh2 oh or ch3 at the fifth position now at the sixth position so this is the sixth position at the sixth position fluorine enhances the activity that's why these drugs are called as fluoroquinolones all of these drugs are having a fluorine group at the sixth position except the nalidixic acid so many of these uh, new generation drugs are having a fluorine group at the sixth position and by presence of the fluorine group at this position it increases the lipophilicity as the lipophilicity increases the potency as well as activity increases so at the sixth position fluorine group is essential for the activity seventh position so this is the seventh position at the seventh position a piperazine ring increases the activity this piperazine ring is present in the drugs like norfloxacin and ciprofloxacin which are having the extended activity in the gram negative bacteria compared with the nalidixic acid nalidixic acid is not having the piperazine moiety at the seventh position but the norfloxacin and ciprofloxacin are having piperazine moiety at the seventh position and in this structure we can observe that this piperazine ring is attached with a methyl group at the para position so para methyl group further increases the activity and this is the structure what we call the ofloxacin ofloxacin is again uh, a second generation fluoroquinolone which is having some extended activity towards the staphylococcus aureus infections finally at the eighth position so at the eighth position if a fluorine group is going to be attached it may increase the activity this 8 fluoro group if it is present along with a 5 amino group it further increase the activity towards the atypical organisms and finally the ring fusions so within the general structure of this fluoroquinolones the ring fusions can be observed in order to increase the activity of the fluoroquinolones so we can observe the successful ring fusions at the first and eighth position fifth and sixth position as well as seventh and eighth position all these ring fusions are going to increase the activity for example this is the first position and this is the eighth position so if a ring is going to be attached by combining the first and seventh positions it increases the activity similarly this is the fifth and sixth positions so if any ring is going to be substituted at fifth and sixth again it increases the activity this is the seventh one and if a ring is going to be attaching at the seventh and eighth position again it increases the activity we can observe one of the important structure that is a ofloxacin in the ofloxacin we can observe a ring fusion attached at the first and eighth position now at the first and eighth position a morpholine ring is going to be attached which increases the activity of the ofloxacin and by this ring fusion a stereo center is going to be produced and because of the stereo center the ofloxacin is available in two isomers either levo isomer and dextro isomer so levo isomer is more active than the dextro isomer so levo floxacin is having extended activity towards the atypical organisms and it is considered as the third generation fluoroquinolone so that's about the fluoroquinolones fluoroquinolones are having the quinoline as the basic ring but this quinoline ring can be modified to produce other rings like the synolines 15 naphthyridines 16 naphthyridines and 18 naphthyridine ring systems among these drugs with synolene ring and 18 naphthyridine ring system are available in the market and for synolene ring system synoxazine is a one of an example but nowadays it is uh, not available and it is discontinued because of the less activity compared with the other fluoroquinolones similarly 18 naphthyridine examples are nalidixic acid as well as enoxazine these two drugs again have some limited activity so they are again replaced by the new generation fluoroquinolones nowadays most of the drugs are having the quinoline ring as the basic ring and it this quinoline ring at the first position small alkyl groups increase the activity if the alkyl group is the cyclopropyl it is having the more activity compared with the methyl group and if the first position if any phenyl group is attached it will have an optimal potency second position should not be substituted and second and third position saturation of double bond results in the loss of activity and third position carboxylic acid is essential for activity 
and third position carboxylic acid and fourth position keto group are responsible for the binding of the drug to the dna gyrase enzyme and these two groups are also responsible for the chelation of these drugs with the metals like the magnesium calcium iron which is responsible for the formation of insoluble complexes so these drugs are having some limited absorption in presence of divalent cations and at the fifth position small groups like the amine oh ch3 increase the activity and at the sixth position a fluorine group enhance the activity which increase the lipophilicity thereby increase the potency and seventh position a piperazine ring is uh, optimal for activity and if this piperazine ring is attached with a methyl group at the para position it further increases the activity and eighth position a fluorine group generally increases the activity if it is associated with a five amino group it further increases the activity and ring fusions are allowed at the first and eighth position fifth and sixth position and seventh and eighth position and particularly we have one of the fruitful drug which is having the ring fusion at the first and eighth position that is the ofloxacin ofloxacin is having the morpholine ring at first and eighth position which increase the activity and this drug is also having some stereoactive center which results in the levo as well as dextro isomer and levo isomer is having some extended activity towards the gram positive organisms as well as atypical organisms